All right, we're coming to part four of our three-part uh, pizza special. This will be Stromboli. I know a bunch of you have been waiting for it, and you've asked me about it, and uh, this will be the last, hopefully the last, well, not hopefully, but probably the last installment of this, uh, of this little gimmick. So uh, we're going to start out by setting the oven to uh, 425. Not timer, oven. We have our pizza dough, which is risen. And it's warmed up a little bit from the freezer. Put it in the refrigerator last night, took it out early this morning, and just let it sit there and uh, warm up. So uh, that's where we're going with this. And uh, we've got some parchment paper we're going to roll it on uh, because we're going to be making a flat piece. Uh, a little thinner, no, a lot thinner than what we're used to for pizza. Um, and we have the meats, which uh, are still in the fridge. We have uh, prosciutto, tavern ham, and Genoa salami. Uh, we're also going to put some prosciutto on top of that and a little bit of our pizza sauce and save the rest of the sauce to uh, warm up and use as a dipping sauce for our stromboli. So uh, let's get started momentarily. I've been debating quite a bit about putting pepperoni on this and I've decided against it. Um, not because I don't like pepperoni, because I do. But uh, I'm just going to keep it simple this time uh, around. So we're going to get a sheet of parchment paper out. And you know how this stuff likes to curl. Turn it upside down. I got my rolling pin just in case. We're going to throw a little bit of flour and parchment paper. We shouldn't need it, but we're going to do it anyway. Just in case, again. We don't want this bad boy sticking everywhere, do we? We're going to uh, bring out our wonderful pizza sauce. Just in case any of you care or are wondering, Jade showed up. Naturally, she has to inspect quality control everything. A little bit sticky, if it's a little bit sticky, just throw some flour, throw it around in the flour. That's why we put it down there and unstickerize it. Jolly Joker. You get uh, no points and no gifts if you know who that was. So we're going to square it up a little bit, a lot, thin it out a lot. A little bit of flour. I don't want a ton of flour on here. We're not going to cut anything to get it square. We're just going to do the best we can. This isn't rocket science. You're not going for a Michelin star here. You're not going for the best of the best in the West. We're just going for normal. So, a uh, little bubble. Look at that. Where'd that come from? Clear out the corners if you can, as best you can. All right, I think that's pretty good. We're going to get a little bit of water to uh, help seal the one edge. A little bit of water. Pastry brush, silicone brush, whatever. Let's start with our salami. Salami, salami, bologna. It's also, well, it's a cartoon, figure out which one. Again, no points, no prizes if you, if you guess it. And Jade's sitting down there saying, I want a piece of the salami. Are you digging me? This is a quarter pound total, I believe. That's what I asked for. Yeah, quarter pound, a little bit more. So we're gonna 
do two layers of this because it's kind of thin. I think I've used probably an eighth of a pound. I could probably use the whole damn thing if I wanted to. Which one is this? Prosciutto. I love prosciutto. Um, prosciutto is like Italian bacon if you're not familiar with it. It's expensive, but it is so good. Um, wrap asparagus uh, around, or I'm sorry, wrap asparagus around it. Wrap it around asparagus and um, put a little olive oil on it and maybe some lemon and throw it in the oven uh, for a while and um, you'll have like a gift of the gods. And this is falling right the hell apart. I am so disappointed. It is sliced very thin as prosciutto should be. Uh, so we'll attack it from the other end and see if that doesn't help any. You can feel the dry, the dryness, because it's kind of dry, and the saltiness of it, because it is, oh man, because I'm going to have a piece of this by myself. Jade's looking down here saying, I want some, but she'll get a piece of provolone probably if I have enough left. If not, she'll get uh, a dog biscuit. I know it's unfair. You'll survive. Because I love provolone or prosciutto so much, we are putting some a bunch on. It's a little more than a quarter pound here. Oh man, I can't get enough of this stuff. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I am dead serious. I'll save some for later for my mouth right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was just the oven telling me it's ready. Oh God, I love it so. A little bit of tavern ham. Um, you can substitute anything else for this if you want to. Uh, I happen to like ham on mine. Um, you can just do the, the two cheeses we did, or I'm sorry, the two meats that we did cut. I swear, I don't know what's wrong with it. And then we're gonna put provolone on top for the cheese elevons. Jade is right next to me. She sees the cheese, she knows, she's no fool. When it comes to food, the dog is no fool, believe me. Yes, that was the dryer. Yes, I have a real life doing real things. My wife works very hard. Uh, doing real work. I do this for fun. So uh, I try to pick up a lot of the other household crap all of that uh, happens. Only have three pieces of cheese. That's good enough anyway. That's fine. And then we're going to put just a swipe of uh, sauce on it. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Like I said, we're going to use the rest of this for dipping sauce uh, when it's done. Warmed up dipping sauce. Want a hint, that's all. Just a hint. That's good. Now we're going to roll. Roll them up, baby. Roll the ends in if you've got some ends to roll. I was a little too generous on that side, but that's all right. Roll it up. Stromboli. Voila. I'm not even going to use the water. It weighs about 752,000 pounds. It is gorgeous. I'm going to put it on a pan. Bring it back over here. And we're going to put a little egg wash on it. I'm going to do an egg wash. Uh, with the white of the egg, Jade's going to get the, uh, oh god, you're so stupid. With Jade's going to get the yolk, and she knows it. Anytime I make eggs, uh, Jade is ready and willing to accept any mistakes that I make, even though this is not a mistake. She doesn't care. She's not picky, believe me. Jade's a lot of things. Picky's not one of them. 
Okay, a little egg wash. We're going to splash a little water in here. And I mean just a splash, just a little tiny bit. There's a fork. Whisk nicely. A little bit frothy, it's good. Wipe the top so it gets nice and brown. We're going to pop this in a 425 oven for, uh, we're going to start with 15 minutes and take a look at it. Everything's already cooked here except for the pizza dough here. Uh, so this getting brown is going to, is going to be the uh, part that tells us when everything else is done. So, in the oven, 425, 15 minutes. I'm dying here, man, waiting for that. And we'll check it in 15 and see how it looks. I just dumped uh, the rest of our spaghetti sauce that we made the other day um, in a cup. I'm going to stick it in the microwave and start warming it up in a couple of minutes uh, so we have some warm dunking sauce. Just about halfway through 15 minutes, that's what it's looking like. <laughs> oh yes, I can't wait! Okay, it's time. It's uh, 15 minutes and let's take a look and see where we are. We got nice brown edge. We think we're going to do another three minutes and check it out just to get some more brownage on that, I think. So let's get... Do three and then another two or three if we need more. Okay, uh, we're at 18 minutes, three extra minutes. I uh, think we hit the jackpot with 18 minutes, huh? We could probably go another one or two, but I think that's about perfecto mundo. Don't you think? I do. That's going to be about surface of the sun hot, I'm telling you. Turn the oven off. Listen to it. Can you hear that? Oh. All right, we're going to let it cool for a couple of minutes just to uh, get it down to just below the surface of the sun hot and let things kind of um, come together inside and then we're going to cut it and see what it is. All right. Let's uh, see what's inside here. I'm going to cut the end off. Alexa just decided to say something which is totally irrelevant to what uh, I'm doing. Alexa, cancel. She doesn't answer when I call her, and she talks when I don't want her to talk. I'm not going to say any more about that. I'm just not. Okay. That is hot. Stromboli, boys and girls. And it smells just freaking awesome. So I cut myself a piece, or two pieces, because I'm going to have the end piece too. Um, just look at that. Just look at that. With the cheese coming off the back of it. Um, I can't, I don't know, I can't say enough, because it just looks awesome. I hope it's as good as it looks, huh? Let's take uh, an experimental bite. Let's see how we did. It's hardly worth eating, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh my god. The flavors have melded nicely. The uh, crust is crispy. And just, let me just. Crispy on the outside, light and fluffy on the inside, just delicious. Oh.
thank you for joining. You gotta do this one. It's awesome.